Hello and welcome to Japanese from Zero. I am George Trombley and we are continuing down the course three path. We just finished course two. We're now in lesson two of course three and today's topic is by which means. We're going to figure out how something is done and you do need to know shichi, hachi, ku, ju, hyaku, and sen kanji. Now we haven't actually done kanji lessons so you are responsible to go through them in the book or on the course before we get to this point. If you try to do it all at once, you're gonna overwhelm, your, overwhelm yourself, so do them little by little, and they will be progressively added into the books, and I'll try to use them here in the lessons also on the web. Now, uh, I just said that there aren't kanji videos, but most likely there will be sometime in the future when you're watching this. So if you're watching it then, I'm sorry, go back and watch the video. Go watch that video, take the time. All right, so let's look some look at check back check da check da. Just needed a little bit of iced tea, got a little bit ahead of myself. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. We're gonna talk about some new words that we need. One of them is not really uh, a new word; it's actually a verb conjugation, but it's gonna be used like a new word. It is aruite, aruite, and it means by foot. It means walking the verb is walk aruite but don't think about it that way i shouldn't have even said that aruite means by foot okay taxi taxi could have probably figured that out if you just heard it because it's katakana sometimes like i remember when i first was learning katakana and i would read the word and i'd be like what is that and it was like so seji so seji. Like, what is that? You have to read it fast. So seji. So seji. So seji. Sausage. Takushi. 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 Taxi. Taxi. Right? So if you read it fast, that katakana sometimes works. Sometimes the katakana just doesn't match the English word, unfortunately. Like California. You know, even that one, if you read it fast, like California. 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 Right? Just read it fast. Sutoro. Sutoro. Stro. I mean, we are so lucky that Japanese has katakana because I'm learning Chinese now and the English words in Chinese are just in kanji. So you're like, what? You're, like, you're trying to figure out based on the kanji and the meaning, like what does it mean? Japanese luckily has katakana. I mean, Korean and Chinese doesn't. Kata People hate katakana, but it's great in a way, because it shows you this isn't Japanese. It's a foreign word. Don't think too hard about it. Figure out where it's from. Okay, genkin, genkin. This means cash, and we're gonna need that today. And we're gonna need this, we're gonna need this one verb, harau, to pay, harau, to pay. Now, we know the particle de. We learned it early on in uh, course two to mean event location, where something took place. For example, restaurant de tabemashita, ate it at the restaurant. Now, this particle does, there's multiple, it's a different particle, but it's the exact same sound, okay? We're gonna learn the method marker de. I also call it the which means marker. How did it get accomplished marker, okay? You could almost call it the how marker if you wanted to. All right, so let's look at how we use this in a pattern. It goes like this. Method de verb done. By this method did this verb, and it could be past tense, future tense, whatever tense you want. All right. So verb by method. Eat with this. Go by this. Or via this, for example. Let's just look at something to make it a little bit easier. So let's say you wrote uh, a very you you wrote a very beautiful like you wrote something very beautiful in Japanese. Your friend's like, wow, what did you write that with? What did you write that with? Nani de kakimashita ka? Nani de kakimashita ka? Give me a second. I feel like the camera is crooked and I just want to check. Oh, I could have looked at the actual camera. Mm, it looks okay. Mm, yeah. All right. So you wrote this beautiful word and your friend wants to know how, what did you write it with? Not how, because we will learn how to say, how did you actually do something? In what way did you do something? Coming up in this 
course. Right now we're just saying, which thing did you use to accomplish it? That's the key difference. It doesn't mean how did you did it? How did you did it? How did you do it? It means which item did you use to do it? Nani de kakimashita ka? And that is, in this case, enpitsu de kakimashita. Enpitsu de kakimashita. I wrote it with a pencil. You're not saying like, I took charcoal and I did this and I did that. It's not how did you do it? Even though in English we'll say how did you write it? Sometimes we'll say that and we mean what did you write it with? But in Japanese, we're really just saying, what did you write it with? Enpitsu de kakimashita. I wrote it with a pencil. I kakimashita. Because remember that you can also draw. Kaku is also draw. So how did you draw it? Could be the exact same meaning. Maybe you're an artist. A lot of people are. And you did this amazing thing. You could say, enpitsu de kakimashita. I drew it with a pencil. What if you drew it with a pen? Just replace pencil with pen. Pen de kakimashita. Pen de kakimashita. All right. So let's say you're eating a new food. This happens. This is this might seem like a weird question, but sometimes you you get this new food that's Japanese, and you don't know how to eat it. Nani de tabemasu ka? Nani de tabemasu ka? With what do you eat this? Now my first answer. Made a lot of sense. When I was 16, I went to Japan. I'm sorry, I went to Korea. I went to the Philippines. Wrong country, I'm sorry. Uh, I went to the Philippines. My dad said I needed to learn about money. And in the Philippines, they actually eat with their hand a lot. They don't, I don't know if it's a cultural thing or if it because there's a lot, because I was in the barrio and everything was poor. I, I don't know why, but they would eat like they, 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 they eat like that. They like grab the rice up and they, they eat it up. Okay, and so they eat, so the question would be, the answer, if the question, look, we all make mistakes, I mean seriously, you know, I'm not a fan of the cutting up the video to remove the mistake, I do every now and then if, it, if I feel like it hurts you, but uh, I'm going to keep these in, because sometimes you need to break mentally, you guys, you ready to get back on? Nani de tabemasu ka? With what did you eat it? Or will you eat it? Te de tabemasu. I'll eat it with my hands. I, I'm going to eat with my hands. Te de. So the te now is our tool. That's what we're going to do it with. All right. What if you eat it with a fork? You know, you don't know. You got the sushi in front of you or some weird food and you got chopsticks and a fork and a spoon and you got your hand. You could just eat it with your hand. Fork de tabemasu. Fork de tabemasu. Pretty good, right? All right. So... You're going to go to Osaka, right? And, uh, you, well, someone asks you, hey, how are you going to go to Osaka? Not how, but by which means are you going to go to Osaka? Osaka ni nani de ikimasu ka? Osaka ni nani de ikimasu ka? How are you going to Osaka? Would be a good translation of that, right? Right? I'm going to go by bullet train. Bullet train. And it is not... Pudetto train. There's a word for it. Shinkansen. Shinkansen. Which means new line, by the way. That's why all, if you ever look at the train stations in Japan, there's, there'll be like the Tokyo station, right? Tokyo Eki. But then there'll be like the Shin Tokyo Eki. The new Tokyo station. That's always literally pretty. I don't know. There might be an exception. But as far as I know, every station with Shin in front of it, means the bullet train stops there. Because the bullet train tracks are wider. Like, they're not the same tracks, uh, as far as my understanding is. So they can't, they don't use the same station, typically. They have their own new, their own station. Uh, and that is like Shin Osaka, Shin Kyoto, Shin Hachinohe station. So, uh, what if you're going to go by taxi? You must be close if you're going to go to Osaka by taxi. Maybe you're in Himeji or somewhere. So, taxi de ikimasu. All right, let's just do a couple more examples and get through this. So, today, you're going to pay rent. How do you say rent? I always remember rent as like, kaching, kaching, because it's money. Uh, it's yachin, yachin. Chin, chin is another way to say money. You'll hear it. You'll hear, chin. now, this isn't part of any lesson, but you'll hear chin after something. For example, you hear, densha chin. 
Tenshin Chin means money for the train. You'll hear it. Tenshin Chin, very commonly. And Yachin means house money, literally. But that's not a slang, that's an actual word. Tenshin Chin is very slangy, in my mind, uh, because it's, you're normally, you say, you say like, Densha Dai, or something like that. But Densha Chin, they will say. So how would you say, I will pay rent today. Kyo, yachin, yachin o haraimasu. Kyo, yachin o haraimasu. What are you going to pay it with? What are you going to pay it with? Like, you don't even have any money, dude. What are you going to pay it with? Nani de haraimasu ka? Nani de haraimasu ka? All right. Now, this, this answer, this next answer, how he's going to pay is a little bit long. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give you the English, and I'm going to give you time to think about how you would say it. Right now, because I don't have any cash, I'll pay with a credit card. You think about that. Right now, because I don't have any cash, I'll pay with a credit card. Ima, genkin ga nai kara, kredito kado de haraimasu. If you remember the lesson where we do compound sentences, you know that the item that is the reason is put in the casual form. Even though the sentence itself is not completely casual, the last sentence determines the formality of the sentence, right? Or the politeness level. So because we're saying must at the end, it's a polite sentence. But the thing before the kara, the reason is always packaged in a way. It's packaged casual. To be in that reason section. So, genkin ga nai kara. Ima, genkin ga nai kara. Because I have no cash right now. Kredito kado de haraimasu. Alright. Before we get to the next example, I want to say, uh, this guy in the stream, dank, dank, me dank memes or whatever. Congratulations. I mean, you are aggressive. You have been posting your question into the forum. Not the form. My phone's ringing and my brain is not working. I'm going to go check the phone. Right back. All right. Sorry about that. I wanted to say that the Dank Mems guy, he's been posting his question, completely unrelated question, into uh, the YouTube comments, which I'm going to ignore, number one. And then while I'm live streaming, he's asking a question as if I'm watching the live stream. I mean, kudos. Not being a jerk to you. I'm just saying kudos. But you probably should go into the Yes Japan chat room, the Japanese from Zero chat room. Log into the website. Those guys there will answer that question. And, and I'll give you the answer right now. It's really easy. Go, uh, no, no, you know, I'm not going to give it to you. <laughs> go into the Yes Japan chat room. All right. Let's look at our next question. Or not our next question, but our, let's look at our next sentence. All right. So how would you say, I go to school by bus? I go to school by bus. Uh, there will be those guys that ask, could you say gakko e ikimasu? Yeah, but I never do that. I never do that for the reason that we stated before, that e is supposed to be towards. But ni is used for an actual destination where you're going to instead of towards this bigger location. So I like to say ni. For me, I like to say ni, even though there used to be a TV show called Gakko e Ikimas. Okay, uh, I'm sort of uh, literal on this one. I like to use e as what it was designed for, which is towards something like towards a direction. Uh, so uh, for me, I'm going to say Gakko ni Ikimas. You'll never hear me say Gakko e Ikimas. Okay, uh, let's look at the answer. So the answer would be well, because it's close, I go by foot. Because it's close, I go by foot. Or I walk, literally. I walk and go. Chikai kara, not chikai da kara, chikai kara, aruite, ikimasu. And in the sense we have the watashi wa, you don't need it. You, you could just say chikai kara, aruite, ikimasu. But what this guy is doing when he has the watashi wa in here, he's saying, well, because it's close, I walk. As opposed to you on the bus. He's kind of emphasizing himself. So, chikai kara watashi wa aruite ikimasu. Okay? 
All right, so let's say you're going to Japan and your friend asks you, how long does it take you to go to Japan by airplane? How many hours does it take to go to Japan by airplane? How many hours? This is hard. If you get this, congratulations. I'll give you the order. Up to Japan, to Japan. By airplane, how many hours does it take? Nihon made hikoki de nanjikan kakarimaska or kakaru no, we're doing informal. Okay. Nihon made hikoki de nanjikan kakarimaska. Now don't get confused because um, here nanjikan is a time span, right? We don't, I don't know why that would have confused you. But don't get confused. We're not going to say nanjikan ni kakaru. Because only times get ni. You wouldn't be confused by that, right? You That wouldn't confuse you, right? Right? All right. So, nihon made hikoki de nanjikan kakaru no? It takes about 11 hours. Juichi jikan gurai kakarimasu. Or if you want to be informal back, juichi jikan gurai kakaru. Or, you don't have to say gurai. It could be exactly. That is it. Wow. There was a lot of cuts in this video because, man, did things happen. We got a phone call talking about Pokemon, which apparently gyms are giving out double bonuses tonight, which means I absolutely got to go. Stick around. <clears throat> Stick around. We've got two more videos. We'll be right back. Bye.